Newcastle fans rejoice as sports direct signs removed from St. James Park. Newcastle fans are thrilled that St. James Park will finally no longer be dominated by sports direct advertisements. The Magpies have confirmed that the banners and hoardings, prominent due to the former ownership of the maligned Mike Ashley, will be removed and work is already underway. Sports Direct signage has remained in the stadium despite the £300 million takeover from the Saudi-backed public investment fund due to an existing deal with Sports Direct. It has left lasting memories of Ashley's despairing regime, but a fresh start will now be reflected visually inside the iconic stadium. Newcastle came to an agreement to end their association with billionaire Ashley's business, allowing for the removal of the advertisements. The news comes after co-owner Amanda Staveley admitted frustration at the level of the brand advertising in the stadium. The sports direct signs I'm looking forward to coming down, she said last month. It's a slight frustration when I go into the stadium and I try and take a picture which doesn't have sports direct in it. A picture was shared by fan group War Flags on Twitter showing one sign already being removed from the ground's leases end. Newcastle fans celebrated their first Premier League win of the season on Saturday after a narrow 1-0 victory over Burnley. And they are now rejoicing after learning the sport's direct signs will be removed. Finally a St James Park free from the tyranny of Mike Ashley, one supporter tweeted. Mike Ashley gone. Lee Charnley gone. Steve Bruce gone. Sports direct signage gone. It is well and truly a new era at NUFC, another wrote. The final dark shadow of Ma, Mike Ashley, is going and that can only make us smile that little bit more and finally move on from the previous owner. Woohoo, a third shared. The banners and hoardings could be all gone before Eddie Howe's team